All right, everybody. You just saw me play this game against GM Dante. Um, and I was um, refreshing in and out of the live server just trying to test some stuff, so I apologize for that. Uh, but let's let's continue with the brawl. Uh, Andrew, chess anywhere. Again, let me show a pic of Andrew. Thank you again for playing the contest, and hopefully you enjoyed the games. I'm sorry that... Um, wasn't quite the Christmas experience that we've ever had with some of the bugs, um, but that's okay. Um, the title Tuesday will go on. I think we've uh, we've narrowed down the critical issues that you guys saw me experiencing with the pre moves and the uh, the current and game buttons not broken. But uh, but okay, Vince Young is is not here, so let's take on Jake. Five seven six eight nine, right? That sounds like an '80s song. Oh no, that's eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Um, eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Is that a real phone number? And what's the area code? Anybody else ever wondered this question? Looks like we have a million different people accepting challenges but uh, not getting in. Let's take on another one here. Now we've got a simul going. Of course, that's like they trick me. They trick me into the simul, don't they? I think they do. I think they trick me into the simul by pretending like they're not going to make moves, and they'll be like, hey, let's see if Danny's dumb enough to accept another game, and now he has to play a bullet simul. But okay, not my first rodeo, as you know, as far as the bullet simuls go. It looks like uh, this guy's also forgotten that he's playing a game, so I'm not even going to take the rook. I'm just going to attack the queen. And then I'm going to push the knight out of the way so I get a discovered check. Maybe I'll get a checkmate here in moment's notice. Let's take there with Chekaruski. I'd love to have something even more nasty. Um, I can give this double check and pick up the knight, which is what I'm going to do. But that may not have even been the most efficient way to do it. He can actually take on d4 here because then he can fork me. But he didn't see that. So we're okay with that. A lot of pieces coming off the board right now. A lot of pieces coming off the board right now. All right, that's going to be gamer. Checks, checks. All right, um, we're gonna we're gonna take on a whole bunch of covers because I know everyone wants a chance. At this point, these things have become more of an event because people want to have a chance to play as much as the commentary being entertaining or instructive. Obviously, you can tell when things like that happen throws me off a little bit, which I uh, should find my inner serenity, my inner peace. So I'm working on that. Um, all right, well, at least the show is going on. And uh, let me let me continue here. Um, take a look at uh, what's going on with the team. Looks like things are going okay. Okay. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's take on somebody else. Oops. Take on somebody else. Who do we got here? We got Jigganaut. I think we played Jigganaut before. If I uh, if my memory serves me correctly. Okay. Uh, Jigganaut also lulling me to sleep here. So I'm gonna play another game. We'll see if that means we get a bullet simul going or not. Oh, looks like we do. The bullet simul is commencing. Pre-moves are key. The pre-moves seem to be working after a hard refresh, so if anyone has that issue. It's not glitching the pieces back anymore, as we saw. All right, we'd like to get a mating attack going here, but maybe maybe we don't even need that. Take with check. Take the bishop. Take there, we're going to give check, and then pre-move if we can. OK, 
Okay. It's getting down on time here. <laughs> That's what happens in these things. We need to try to get some of these pieces off the board. You know what I'm saying? I need to checkmate somebody here pretty fast or I'm in big trouble. What happened in the other game? I, I don't have time to check it, do I? Oh, I won. He resigned. Oop, but I'm going to lose this one on time. No, I'm not. Checkmate. Okay, no more bullet simuls, everybody. When I accept your challenge, you have to just play your chess game instead of not doing that. Um, all right. All right, looks like things are being worked out. My team will be angry with me later for causing a panic, but at least we're going to get things fixed. All right. So if I pre-move, even on a new game, the hard refresh seemed to have fixed it. So that is confirmed. It seems that once I did the hard refresh, whatever that was, it fixed it. Um, in case anybody's watching or I'm just talking to myself. Um, okay, but this game looks like I'm about to get crushed, so that's not fun. Um, not fun at all. Can I escape the mate? I don't know. I gotta do something weird. Let him go get everything. He's gonna go get my pawns. Nothing I could really do about that after my initial blunder. So that's not fun. But hopefully I can play fast enough to maybe salvage something in this game. Right? Let's give let's protect this pawn. All right. He's going to go get that guy. I'm going to try to march my um I'm going to try to march these pawns to create some sort of mating net even though it's a little bit unlikely to succeed. We're going to try to create some counterplay on the queen side because he's got d6 coming. Okay, but that helps. That helps a lot, actually, I think. I think that's going to help me. Take there with check. I'd love to get even more. I guess I'll trade queens even. Let's see if I can go pick up this pawn. Now we're pre-moving it out. Pre-move it out. All right, Bullet Vinick. I like that name, by the way. I like Bullet Vinick. It's a good name. Good, good name for that guy. Yep. All right, let's let's uh, let's let's bring it to a close with one best of five against a uh, title player. Um, specifically so that uh, we all know we got something out of this. We have Fide Master ZMA J23. I don't think that he's a regular customer on the show, so welcome. Try to lighten up again. Um, yeah, we will probably do a Chess Anywhere contest again at some point. Um, again, thanks to Andrew May for both participating and being on the show today. Um, and right now, I'm gonna we're gonna finish off with one best of five. And if you're irritated that the show was a little 
sporadic today and and we had some issues uh remember that greg shahadi is about to broadcast live the uh title tuesday tournament which is starting in about 20 minutes part of the reason i'm going to get off the air to let him have the stage and uh so stick around both on twitch and on chess.com stick around for the title tuesday the may title tuesday gonna be fun I'm going to put the bishop on h4 because that prevents him from castling along, which should be pretty useful. And uh, now I can actually bring more pressure to the king side because he can't get his king out of there. In fact, I think he's going to be in trouble here pretty quickly. Uh, a few different reasons why he's going to be in trouble. But I'm bringing pressure, and uh, it's just not very simple for him to... I'd like to... I like to think there would be something even more concrete, but I didn't see didn't see what that might be. I can take, but he can take with the queen, and I don't have any kind of win. Ooh, that's a good move by him. You see that? If I took, he was going to mate me. That was a nice little trick by him, actually. So let's let's see if we can... Ooh, he's getting out. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. We're going to bring pressure and uh, offer a trade maybe even. Yeah, why not? We'll take here and then we'll take there. And we're going to try to open up. And we won on time. All right, let's get a rematch here. Best of five is on. The best of five commences. We have a Sicilian. I guess I will play the dragon if he lets me. And uh, we'll see how this one develops. I'm going to play d5 if he plays nine castles long. Principled approach. The theory of these positions is one that I prefer for white, which I've said uh, on multiple occasions in multiple videos. But in blitz, it's a very difficult position to play, uh, honestly. For both sides, it is a very difficult position. But the tactics uh, for white can be really hard to deal with. And so... Uh, Hence the reason we you see me play this this dragon, which I sort of am, am against. Uh, you see me play it on more than one occasion because it's uh, the tactics as the queen side opens up on the B file, and once I push this pawn and the bishop and rook start having a party over here, these these positions are just you can see the time. I mean, it's not even to say that the position even even here isn't still still good for white. Uh, now it's not. Now it's not good for white. Now it's better for me. But for a while, even, it was still good for white. But, uh, you know, just figuring out all those tactics is just not an easy task. So so that's the problem for white. It's more practical. Now, he is getting a big attack here. But the thing is, so do I have a massive attack. What, what are we going to do here? Am I about to get mated? Uh-oh. How can I get out of this? I don't even know. I can give a million and a half checks, I guess. And then this check, I don't even know. And then this check, and then I can guard the pawn. But I, I <laughs> look at that. So as I said that he was going to regret it because of the time, I mean, he ends up finding a way to get out of it, funnily enough. That's uh, sort of how it works in the dragon. These things are just a big old mess, aren't they? They really are just a big old mess. A big old mess they are, and I'm, I'm going to lose on time. I'm expecting to lose on time. Well, he figured it out. you got to give him credit, right? Oh, he stalemated me. Well, that's got to be frustrating. What happened there, though? Okay, now the current moves are working also upon refresh, so that's all good. What happened in this position? How did he go from completely lost to winning? After I took here, I just have to figure it out. King to d2. I'm just crushing him here. I mean, I guess queen f6 could have just been a massive blunder. Um, I mean, queen to c3 check, king moves, take on c2. He has rook d2, and I didn't see any follow-up. I'm going to get mated. So queen f6 just seems like a really great move, and it actually may just be losing. I mean, I can do other things, like rook up and guard the pawn, and then I'm also threatening to take with check. I can also bring the bishop back and just give him the pawn. That's probably what I should have done. Um, 
but uh, I didn't. All right, well, he uh, he he mantled, um, he managed to to get the the counter play that he needed. So amazing, and of course he should have won, but ultimately blundered this into this stalemate. So this is going to be fun. Nothing like sacrificing a whole bunch of light square pawns just to get an early attack started, an early party started on the light squares. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, let's not allow that. And we'll back up and go get that knight. Yeah, we'll, we'll expect that we can still get castled long here. I'm going to guard there. I'm going to try to develop this bishop to somewhere decent. Okay, he has this uh, threat of F2 check, but I'm not sure it's anything more than a check at this point, to be honest. Oh my gosh. I'm getting distracted. Okay. Well, I should probably just resign, but I'm going to play a few more moves. That was a... Uh, that was a... All right, I'm just going to resign. We'll keep this best of five going. Now I'm going to... I'm going to bring the full focus here. Let's let's uh, grow up, Danny, and focus on your chess. All right, we'll play this dragon again if he wants it. That was fun. And this time I won't blunder with queen f6. All right. Put the rook on b8. We're going to play similar moves. See how he wants to approach this. Play a4, preventing the bishop from heading back to b3. h6. Uh, I think we're just going to play f5. Just open it up. Go crazy on it. Go crazy on it. Play e4. And threaten to take on b2. Ooh, well, he didn't see that coming. So that was a, uh, yeah. That was not good. And hopefully we can win this best of five now and put away the day. Taking this game would break any potential tie. We have a knight orf. No, maybe, yes. G4, English attack. Let's get that party started on the king side, h4. And uh, play really ultra aggressive today in this one. We'll play super ultra aggressive, threatening g6 at some point is the idea to undermine the whole structure. Oops, that was a blunder by me. That was a blunder. Hmm. will take. Playing for an attack potentially on the king. Okay, indeed, and he's going to get that check, I see. But I don't see any immediate follow-up, so we'll go for it. Did not see any immediate follow-up after this check because my queen guards the knight. That's full board awareness, Holmes. Oop, and he decides he's just as frustrated, but that's not a good idea. I get way too many pieces. I think it wasn't a good idea, but maybe he was right and I was wrong, huh? Possibly. Possibly he was right and I was wrong. I don't really want to draw here. I'd much rather win. Much, much rather win. Ridiculous. I, 
All right, everybody. Well, we're going to call this Bullet Brawl now. Um, the Title Tuesday is getting started. Don't go anywhere in 15 minutes. This was just a teaser. Sorry for a little bit of confusion today. Apologize on behalf of um, the distractions and then what happened. So anyway, thank you, everybody.